How far out are you pointing? Yep. We're pretty sure. We're pretty sure. For, 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 oh. I saw that. Well, the pursuit, they, they 1022 the pursuit, though. I know, but that might, that, that, that chippy means nothing. I'm saying to stay on that Jeep Cherokee until right. we hear otherwise. I don't want to lose that Jeep. Yeah. Most of the time, they don't even know who they're chasing. Scanner one. That's it. Yeah, that's definitely it. Speed tracker. Just for me. Cool. I'll let you. Will do. They are. They're on the way. A few minutes out. Copy. So this was stolen out of Whittier. Whittier had it in pursuit. They canceled the pursuit. And now CHP is trying to re-engage.
Well, I guess now's the time. We could uh, try to look through the front window to see if there's any other passengers or anything. Or oh, yeah. yeah see let's what, get, if it's a male or a female. Get in front of it. If this guy gets lit up and he he leaves. Yeah, th no, hard. you're right. This is a good opportunity. As our pilot, Josh, comes around channel four and shoots at the front window. Okay, let's see what we got here. There we go. Nice, Josh. Yeah, keep on coming. Yeah, once you get in front of them, the lighting should get better, too. Okay. Yep. Two behind. Uh, is that, it's a man, right? It looks like a male, yeah. I'll pull out Jay in a second to show those. We're just CFPs. trying to get some details, trying to, Yeah, trying to figure out what's going on here. All right. Extreme vision. Looks like he's eating something. Eating, eating something? Yeah, I can't tell if there's a passenger. It's We're too high. Copy. It's all good. Let's see what we got. Looks like he's alone. Thank you. The chip, he's about a quarter mile back. Okay. Yeah, he's eating, hat on the dash, no passenger, it looks to be a male. Wears Waldo shirt. Big Mac. Getting off, ooh. Can you get it, get on the ocean maybe? Coming this way. Is he south? Southbound Pico. Heading towards the Queen Mary.
think he might. Well, he didn't stop the first time. Through the stop sign. Another one? Yep. Oh, look at that. Interesting. Yep. A little tight. We were literally saying the same thing, Jay. Like a 20 point U-turn. I can't hear Jay, do you hear Jay? Yeah, he's he said it's like Austin Powers making that turn. Oh, look at that, yeah, he knows something's up. Interesting, it's like a, there it is. There we go, light him up, there we go. Here we go, here we go. CHP lighting him up. Is he pulling over? No, he's going. He's going over the tracks. Should be. Under the overpass there. That is the what? Oh, he's going to get blocked here. Look at this. Wow. Back on Anaheim. Oh, this guy's going nuts. Oh, he's, bl he's blowing through another red. Left turn. They taking us, Jay? Are they taking us? Copy. Another, red, another stop sign. Southbound PCH. Might get back on the 710 here. He's picking up speed too, 80 miles per hour on PCH. Oh boy. I just lost ICOM. Oh, there you go. FM1. I got it. Did they fall all the way back to you? Say again? Did they fall all the way back? Or are they let still let me look, let me look. Yeah, no, we're good, we're good. Okay.
right off the nose, Josh. 12 o'clock, we're good. I think those, uh, those Jeeps have V8s, fast. Can you lower the air, Josh? Into a gas station, into the gas station, look at this. Okay, coming our way. Okay. Ten four twenty away. Yeah, Mark, a wild chase underway. That's a stolen Jeep Cherokee there in the center of your screen. CHP in hot pursuit near the port of Long Beach. And look at this, getting more dangerous by the second over the double yellow lines. He's gone through a number of red lights, a number of stop signs, and has done a complete circle and kind of weaving his way through the port. And you see him now in a neighboring neighborhood to the port, just about a block off, a few blocks off of PCH, coming up on a playground. Look at this, people crossing the street, now making a right turn, going northbound right past that playground in Long Beach is where we are. That's a white stolen Jeep Cherokee out of Whittier. Whittier police initiated the pursuit. It got too dangerous. They let it go. It went into surveillance mode. LA County Sheriff now overhead. They've been overhead the whole time. CHP finally picking it up. Now look, he's in a parking lot and he's now being blocked by this car and there's the chippy right behind him trying to squeeze through that car being pulled out. Look at him. He's trying to block him in. Almost blocked him in there, and he is. He, that's the second time he's done that. He just flew through a gas station uh, a minute ago, and now he is uh, weaving through parking lots. A very dangerous driver behind the wheel of this SUV. We got a quick peek of the passenger seat. It looked to be empty. He was coming down the 710 at a very casual pace for some time. He appeared to be eating something as we looked through the windshield. But once they lit him up near the port, he has really amped things up here. Look at this, 65 miles per hour down East 10th Street. Now making another left turn. We are in downtown Long Beach, Mark, a pursuit that is getting dramatically more dangerous by the second. Now into an alleyway and clearly feeling the pressure as CHP has two units that are uh, not letting up here. I thought they were going to lose them for a second. At one point, they really gave them a little bit of distance, but now they are keeping no more than uh, 20 or 30 car lengths between them and him. In fact, they really tried to close in on him a minute ago, and you saw once he got it kind of felt a little threatened there in that parking lot, he has just squeezed through anybody in his way. Did the same thing a few minutes back with a big rig truck as well, so he is clearly desperate to evade these officers. It's like he's circling. Uh, a warning to people who live or work in this area, stay in your home, don't go out on the street. This guy is wild. He's cr going through intersections. He's blowing through stop signs and red lights, going down alleys at breakneck speed. Emphasis on breakneck, frankly. This is very, yeah. very dangerous uh, driving yeah. here. So if you're on the street here, get off the street. Get to safety. Yeah, you know, for a while, like I said, he was on the 710 freeway. I was hoping he would keep it that way. But once he got off the freeway, he seems to be looking for any nook or cranny. He's almost... It's almost like he's looking for a spot to dump the vehicle. You get the feeling he's looking for a place to hide and then try running. But that wouldn't surprise me. That's something we see all the time. But the behavior that we're seeing here is really indicative of that. So we'll see how this driving continues. But as you can see, just since we've joined you on the air here, uh, the driving has gotten much more dangerous on the railroad tracks now, making a U-turn at Long Beach Boulevard. Now turning around, going back, is that going to be, looks like he's going eastbound. 
east south going southbound on Long Beach Boulevard, just passing 12th Street now. Uh, a lot of traffic on a Friday afternoon. We've seen several pedestrians already, even willing to use those railroad tracks with no hesitation whatsoever. Here's another one. Not sure if that's CHP or possibly Long Beach Police joining the pursuit, but in any event, Look I can guarantee this. you Long Beach Police monitoring the situation, probably tempted to get involved here as well. CHP down there with a couple of units. And go? look at that. He found another nook through another parking lot behind an apartment complex, weaving through alleys and taking these turns really, really fast. It's not the first time we've almost seen oh, him lose blocked. control. Now it looks like he might be blocked in. He's got room. He's got room. Did he get out? He's still in the driver's seat. Still in the driver's seat. And he may be willing to give up here. No, nope. he's putting it in reverse. Sticking it in reverse mm. and continuing the pursuit. You almost had the impression that he was ready to give it up there. But no, he uh, is keeping it going. And look at this. They are trying to flood the zone here. You can tell there's a lot more black and white suddenly uh, in the area at every intersection he passes. And look at the speeds that he is doing through this neighborhood. Uh, what's concerning me right now, guys, is the time of day here in Long Beach. We're coming up on six o'clock and you can tell there's a lot of traffic. He is going right through these intersections, not breaking nearly in time, wild turns, and there are people in the streets as well. This is a very scary one. Yeah, Chris, we've been seeing pedestrians. This is Ellen Lave along with David Ono. Eyewitness News at 6 o'clock is beginning right now. Watching this guy drive through the alleyways recklessly, and uh, we've seen a few pedestrians in the way, so thank goodness he hasn't uh, hit anybody yet. But it's gotten very close, mm -hmm. and, uh, and Chris is right. With these close proximities like that, yeah. we, there are pedestrians on the streets. Ellen, you and I were watching just a few minutes ago, and he went right by uh, a, a parent and a child and also a playground. Chris, it looks dead like he's end. stopping here. Stopped, maybe in a dead end, maybe oh. intentionally, maybe not, but he now jumped out of the vehicle, is running through an apartment complex. There's an apartment building there in the foreground. We'll see if he's familiar with this area. Maybe he's gonna hide out somewhere over here, or maybe somebody will try to get involved. You see a number of bystanders in that parking lot they are going to assist law enforcement here in a second. There's that CHP unit who's about to pull into this parking lot. It's a gated parking lot. He's passing right by it. He doesn't know. That that officer may not be aware uh, that that suspect just ran through there, but he is somewhere in that building right there. Here he is. He ran through. Ran through, came out the other side, is now walking down the sidewalk on Lorena Way, just past Atlantic Avenue. He's trying to blend in with the crowd here on a Friday afternoon, just going for a stroll. And I guarantee you the LA County Sheriff's Department helicopter at this point is trying to get units into position here. So we'll see how quickly it takes to get this wrapped up here. But this is a dangerous situation. You could tell uh, that he is getting a little bit nervous. There he is. They have him at gunpoint. That is a CHP unit, I believe. He is at gunpoint now, walking past the Long Beach Women's and Children's Medical Clinic right there. He is being taken down. Uh, fortunately, this is going to come to an end here. What a wild and dangerous pursuit mm. that was. He appears to be resisting a little bit here. Got three officers attempting to put him in handcuffs, but he is definitely putting up a little bit of a struggle. He really thought he was going to get away with it, just taking a walk down the sidewalk there, trying to blend in, but no dice. Not today, sir. Yeah, it looked like Ooh, it's yeah. almost like he was trying to pretend that he doesn't know what they're talking about yet. Mm -hmm. We have the whole thing from the air, and he's not thinking about your vantage point, Chris, and the fact that you got him getting out of the vehicle and uh, then walking through the neighborhood. He clearly is busted, and he'll soon find out. Very grateful that it's over, considering how dangerous that pursuit was. Yeah, that was a Chris tricky Christie, one. good job there. Yeah, especially on a, a Friday evening, as Chris was pointing out, there's a lot of people out of the roads and a uh, very dangerous situation at that. All right, we have a lot of news to get to right now. Um, we will uh, thank you, Chris, very much for that coverage. You got it, guys. All right, appreciate that. Well, millions of ballots have already been returned across Southern California ahead of Tuesday's election. And today, hundreds more early voting centers opened, allowing voters to cast ballots at some iconic locations. And I would assume that Leon Suter is live at uh, Bank of California Stadium and Exposition Park with more on the story. Leanne. Yeah, that's right, you guys. The home of the LAFC here you see behind me here. This is just one of the famous LA locations where you can now vote. Go LAFC! Woo. A team cheer after casting their ballots at the Bank of California Stadium. I am a big LAFC fan and so I was really excited. I miss coming to the games and I'm representing my sports crew, Los Tigres del North End. 
and I'm just, you know, here voting for our community. The home of the LAFC, one of several unique voting locations this year. You can cast your ballot at Staples Center, Dodger Stadium, even the Hollywood Bowl. It was great. It's great. It's the best gig I've been to. <laughs> it was funny. The last time I came to see The Cure and I couldn't see them, so this was a, this is a better experience. The historic Pantages Theater in Hollywood opening its doors as well for the election. Thank you so much, y'all. Yay, it. thank you for voting. 791 vote centers now open in L.A. County, and voters are turning out in droves. Over 42,000 people voting in person as of noon Friday. One of the biggest draws, though, of this election has been the official ballot drop boxes. L.A. County Registrar Dean Logan said in a live streaming interview on ABC7 that more people are using the boxes than the Postal Service to mail in their ballots. These external boxes were, uh, were a, a big undertaking uh, and have proven to be uh, really popular with our voters. Uh, here in L.A. County, 53 percent of the ballots that have come back so far have